Hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. And today, I'm going to go over a team that I have in another Stratomatic League. Yes, you knew I was in at least two leagues, and actually I'm in three. So, uh, our draft for the Southern Contingent Baseball League has just concluded. Or at least for me, it's over. I don't know if there's somebody out there that still hasn't made their pick. but And with that league, it's likely. But um, I have picked everybody on my team. So we're set. And in that league, my team is the Highland Hammers. And you can see I've got my jersey on. Number 66. HH, -H, Highland Hammers. Highland Hammers. And there's my uh, packet that I keep my team in. So I'm going to go over that team and let you know uh, which guys I've had and which guys are new that I just drafted this year. Now, the one difference between this league, this league is closely modeled on the Elmwood League. The difference is in the Elmwood League, there is free agency and we lose people after... A certain number of years five or ten years depending on where you drafted them but in this league there's no free agency you draft a guy you keep him as long as you want him or until you just happen to trade him or cut him or whatever but once you draft someone they are yours for the keeping so let's go over the lineup uh, the first guy that is going to start the year for me, but cannot play all year because we do have limits, just like most leagues do, um, is Ender Inquiarte, and he is going to be my center fielder. There's his card. Now, he only has um, 199 at-bats, so he's only going to be on the team for that long. But I wanted a good center fielder because I do have some good pitching. The next uh, batter is also a guy who I just drafted in this draft, and that is uh, Luis Arias from the Minnesota Twins. Right now I'm going to play him at DH because um, he's not very good defensively anywhere that he plays. The next guy in the lineup would be Rafael Devers, the third baseman. Now, I drafted him a year or two ago, so I have had him on the team. I had him in, on the team coming into this draft, but he has gotten better over the last couple of years. And, he's, and he keeps improving, which is cool. Now, uh, a guy I drafted last year... Is my catcher Mitch Garver. And Mitch Garver is going to be the modern day Babe Ruth, basically. First Zachary offering was a fast one which sailed over for a called strike. The next was high. The Babe took a vicious swing at the third pitch ball and the bat connected with a crash that was audible in all parts of the stand. So after Mitch Garver in the lineup, we have another guy that I drafted, I think, last year, and that is Hunter Dozier. And he will be my first baseman. He isn't very good defensively at first base, but I'm not that concerned about that at first base. The next guy would be uh, Ben Gamble, and he's going to be my left fielder. I also had him coming into the draft so he's a guy that is uh, a Highland Hammer favorite the next guy is uh, Harold Ramirez and I just drafted him uh, he's not very good defensively and actually he's pretty vanilla hitting but I just thought he was solid and he, he could play all year so I got him for uh, the outfield. The next guy would be uh, Enrique Hernandez. And he's going to be, I'm going to play him at second base. Even though he plays all around. Usually I like to, with guys like him, I like to, uh, I like to sit him on the bench and just have him available. 
the fill in here, fill in there, whatever for injuries, for resting guys and what have you. But he's a second base too. And that is easily the best second baseman on my team. So we are going to go with that. And then that brings up uh, Brandon Crawford is going to be my shortstop. Uh, I know he's uh, getting on in age, but, uh, you know, he's a shortstop three. Uh, actually, he's a shortstop three E19, which is not great, but it's better than a Reyes. And, um, and even though I do have a defensive shortstop on the team, he can't play all year, so he's going to be my defensive backup, and we'll get to him later. But now we can get to the uh, pitching staff. Um, and we will start with the starting rotation. And up at the top of the starting rotation, a guy that I drafted number one overall last year. And that's Jack Flaherty. Yeah, baby, Jack Flaherty. I didn't know you were going to toss it quite so hard, ball thrower. Jack Flaherty is going to be a good one. Now, following him in the rotation is Mashiniro Tanaka of the Yankees. And uh, I remember I drafted him a few years ago, and a guy told me, a friend of mine uh, told me, he said, you shouldn't have drafted Tanaka. The guy's got, um, he's got like the, uh, the Tommy John type problem, uh, whatever, torn something or other, or... Uh, or maybe, uh, yeah, something like that. And he said he's just, he's a ticking time bomb. And that was like three, three, four years ago. And so the ticking time bomb has continued to tick. Uh, the third pitcher in the rotation is going to be Jordan Lyles. Now he's, uh, you know, now we're starting to get into real pedestrian guys. But I want to mention also another difference between this league and Elmwood is that this league has 24 teams, not just 20. So, whereas a guy like Jordan Lyles in uh, Elmwood would get his uh, parts of his anatomy handed to him, in this league, he might be fairly decent. Then you got Zach Playsack, who I drafted, and yes, yes. I'm the same guy that said when you draft guys like that, you're taking a chance. But I drafted Zach Playsack. I don't remember what round it was, but I want to say it was like the third round, maybe the third or fourth. So it's not like I took him in the first round because there's no way I would have taken a guy like, you know, with... A dude with 116 innings in his entire life I would not have taken in the first round so yeah he was like a third or fourth round pick and then you got Gio Gio Gonzalez and being a White Sox fan I can't wait to see how he does hopefully he does a lot better than he did last year um, so that brings us to the bullpen and the bullpen's pretty good um, you got Michael Lorenzen out there. Now, I had Michael Lorenzen. I've had him for a couple seasons, two or three seasons already. So, um, he's been on the team. Hector Rondon. Now, the thing about Hector Rondon is I just drafted him in the draft, and I drafted him late. It's not like I drafted him in, like, the fourth or fifth round, so calm down. But, um, I did just draft him in this draft. But he was on my team for the last two or three years. I cut him, and then he was one of the guys that I picked up and brought back. Carlos Martinez is also out there in the bullpen, and I actually traded to get him. Uh, traded with the league commissioner, actually, to get him before the draft. Then we got Chad Green. Now, Chad Green had um, ERA-wise and, uh, what, hits-wise? Yeah, hits to innings pitched and stuff. 
not quite as good as he has been, but his strikeouts, you can see the strikeouts are still there. So he still throws some serious gas. Then you got Joe Jimenez, and he was on my team before. He's been on my team, so uh, that's another other guy. It's it's fairly good. I mean, he's not. Now here we have Tyler Duffy. And Tyler Duffy, I think, was my second round pick. I picked him this year in the draft. He's one of those guys that in Elmwood, I used to have him, and I was hanging on to him, waiting for him to turn the corner. He never turned the corner, so I cut him, and then uh, after I cut him, then he turned the corner. Now, the bench is really not that impressive. The bench is just the bench. So you got uh, Descalzo out there. And you got uh, Joey Rickard. John Jay, backup outfielder. The backup catcher will be Tyler Flowers. But of course, with Babe Ruth playing catcher, he's not going to get a lot of playing time. And then, as I was talking about earlier, my backup shortstop, <clears throat> Adani Hecheveria, or Hecheveria, or however you pronounce his name. Now, he's <clears throat> he is a shortstop 2, E32. And so, I'm not even really sure if that's better than a uh, shortstop 3, E18. Or a shortstop for E8. Who knows? But anyway. Uh, but he is a 2. He's got good range. So that's basically the team. There are some other bench players, obviously. Uh, but uh, that's, that's pretty much uh, what you're looking at. So I think that this team is... Uh, I think this is pretty solid for this league. I mean, you know, this team is not missing a lot. It was sounding great, but I could have used a little more cowbell. What do you guys think? You think it's, uh, you know, 24 team league? You think I got a chance? I would also point out that I'm in a division that usually has, you know, bad teams in it. So I'm, I'm in, I'm really, I'm in the worst division in, in the entire league. So, you know. The four of us, you know, like the I think the league commissioner said to me one year, he said, one of you guys has to bust out and win 76 games to take charge of that division. And that's exactly how it is. But, um, I mean, who knows, though? Maybe they, uh, like last year, last year I think my team won probably like 75 games. I want to say like 75 games. And I was, like, right in the thick of the race, the in, like, for most of the year. I didn't drop off until right near the end. So we're going to have to see how this uh, team fares this year. But I like it. I like, um, I like how it looks. I think I got a real chance to make the playoffs for the first time in years. And by years, I mean decades. But uh, I... Um, I mean, the last time I even had a winning record was probably like 2015. I want to say it was like 2015. So, definitely a winning record, hopefully, on the you know on the horizon, and maybe even the playoffs, because I may actually win the division. But what do you guys think? You guys like the team? 24 team league. What are you thinking? Let me know in the comments below. Definitely leave a comment. And uh, I don't know what happened to my cards. But anyway, just a reminder, um, subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Even if you only watch occasionally, still subscribe. Doesn't, you know, doesn't hurt you. Doesn't cost anything. You know, you're not going to get the, you're not going to get the virus that's going around if you do. And, um, you know, uh, send it to people that you think might be interested um, in any of my content 
and uh, you know, and and leave comments and likes and all the other good stuff. But for right now, Sportsman Z is signing off.